participants today are going to draw Egyptian pyramids. Yeah, the pyramids of Giza. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a marker, but you can use whatever you have at home. You also need... Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yeah. Let's first draw the ground, and I'm going to draw it not in the middle of our paper. I'm going to draw it a little lower than the middle, maybe right about here. And I'm going to draw all the way across, a horizontal line for the horizon. We also have our paper horizontal. That way we have more room to draw the pyramids. Good job. Now let's draw the first pyramid. We're going to draw an upside down V. Well, actually, let's just draw a point up here, a guide point. We're going to draw on the left side and maybe about this high, right about there. Yeah. Then we can draw a diagonal line coming down to the left and then also a diagonal line coming down to the right. This is just a flat triangle. Let's make it look 3D and turn it into a pyramid. We're going to start at the top and draw. There's another side to our pyramid. Now let's draw the next pyramid. It's a little bit higher and off to the right. We're going to draw it right about here and draw a guide point that's higher than the first one we drew. Yeah, this one is going to come down and connect to the first pyramid. And then we're going to draw another diagonal line coming down to the right. And I'm matching the same angle as this pyramid. Perfect. Now let's make it look more 3D by adding another side. We're going to draw another diagonal line coming down. Let's draw another pyramid. Now this one's further away, so we're going to draw even smaller. We're going to draw another guide point that's maybe right about there. So I use my eyes to draw a line straight across and then down a little ways. And we're going to draw maybe draw a little closer to this pyramid. Okay. So not as much showing. Then we're going to draw a diagonal line. Let's first draw this one coming down to the right. And I'm matching the same diagonal line as the pyramid right next to it. And then let's draw a diagonal line connecting. And let's make it look 3D and draw another diagonal line for the side. We did it. Those are the three main pyramids. Now there are three smaller ones right in front. Well, let's start right here. I'm going to draw a diagonal line that crosses over the horizon line. So I drew it a little shorter than where this pyramid comes in. Oh, yours is different. That's okay. I love that it's different. You could start maybe right here and then draw it down to there. Okay. That's okay that our two drawings look a little different, right? Mm -hmm. Because the most important thing is to have fun and to practice. practice. And both our drawings are turning out awesome. I'm sure your drawings are looking really cool too. Let's keep going. This side of the pyramid, I'm going to extend down a little ways too. So we come down below the horizon line. Then let's connect the bottom of that triangle. And we can also make it look more 3D and draw another side to that pyramid. Now that, that line that's going through the pyramid, it works because there you can see the levels or layers in the pyramid. So let's add another line below it and maybe another line above it. Now this next pyramid we're going to draw is broken down more than the other ones. So let's first draw the bottom layer. I'm going to start right next to this one and I'm going to draw two diagonal lines coming down from the horizon line. I'm actually going to draw them coming down to the same level as this one. So we drew it kind of a lot longer than I thought. And then we're going to connect the bottom. Now let's add another layer on top. So we're going to come in a little ways, add two diagonal lines going up. And then we'll connect them at the top. So these have this one has bigger steps in the side. Then we're going to draw another layer on top too. So two more diagonal lines and then we'll connect those at the top. And then one more just really small one at the very top. Let's repeat that same step for one more over here on the left, and we're only going to add three layers to this one. 
So I'm going to draw two diagonal lines coming down below the horizon line, and then we'll connect the bottom. Then let's add another layer on top. So we're going to draw two diagonal lines going up and connect those at the top. And then one more layer, two more diagonal lines and connect those at the top. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our pyramids. They look awesome, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Almost done coloring our drawings and it's turning out awesome, Hadley. We first used our yellow marker, our biannual marker, Y107 for the sun, and then we used Y314 for the sand and also the pyramids, and B203 Three. for the sky. We also added clouds. If you have the same set, you can use those same colors if you want. But you could also color your drawings with anything you have at home or in your classroom, like oil pastels or colored pencils. You could even paint your drawings. Now it looks really cool, except I think we should add shadows and shading to make it look more three-dimensional. So now we're gonna use a brown Y529, and because our sun is over here on the right, we're gonna color the left side of our pyramid to add a shadow. This is gonna make our pyramids look more three-dimensional. They look kind of flat right now. Mm -hmm. But now when we add this darker side to the pyramid, it looks more three-dimensional. Yeah. Let's do that same thing to the other two pyramids. Also, this little shape over here. You could do this one too. Yes, this one too. We'll color the left side. Oh, and we forgot to add another side to these pyramids. I'm going to put this marker off to the side for a second and switch to my Sharpie. And I'm going to add a little line on the first layer, another line on the second one, and one more on the third layer. Let's do the same thing over here. Add another step to the side of the pyramid. Now we can switch back to our brown and add that shadow on the left side of these smaller pyramids. Let's do one more thing and use our yellow or our orange Y314 and layer on top. We can use the edge or you could use the fine tip and add lines, horizontal lines going up our pyramid. This is gonna give that texture like it's made out of bricks or has steps in the side. Oh, you know, at the very top of this one, there's a little shadow across the top, like that, a little diagonal shadow at the very top. And then these horizontal lines can go all the way up and then stop at that little texture line at the very top. Oh, I'm gonna add these lines over here too. Have a give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our pyramids of Giza. It looks awesome. Did you have fun? Yeah. I love that we added that little extra texture to the pyramids to make it look even more realistic. I really like the shadow on the pyramid. It makes it look 3D. Yeah, it does. And I also love your sun with the rays coming off. That looks awesome. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your pyramids. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you have a lot of fun coloring your drawings. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.